So we're gonna be doing a little bit of a weirder uh, video today. I'm sort of just following up on the patch. We're gonna be exploring what there is to this patch. We're also gonna do some summons, very small summoning session. I'm just summoning 200 for the water, mystical fox, whatever it's called. But yeah, I just tried crafting those uh, gems. Uh, they are very expensive, honestly. Uh, they require alchemy four or five, right? No, five and six. So basically, uh, these ones cost three and the higher ones cost six. Like, that is very expensive. But the effects are pretty strong too. So uh, I equipped four of them and my power currently jumped from 607k to 615k. So that's like good 8 to 9k increase, right? So uh, I got three of these, so most attack, most defense, most HP, and then I combined another three of these into uh, this one. So basically, when you combine red, green, and uh, purple ones, or maybe you can even combine the same ones, I'm not even sure, uh, you get a uh, this orange symbol, ancient tree, whatever it's called, right? And that one goes in the fourth slot. But yeah, uh, these seem to have substats as well, and those substats are very similar to artifacts, that were available in the base of Sky Arena game, and oh, I hate them. There's very much thinking to go, like, you will never know what sort of effects the enemy will have, like, uh, look at this, for example. Uh, no, no, not this one, not this one, not this one. This one, what a monster are coming, like, I got lucky to get this one, but like, how would you know that uh, they are healing more than they should and i'm so lucky to get the water one because most healers are kind of water like lulu uh the fox that i'm gonna be summoning adl annabelle like a lot of healers are water but yeah these are pretty cool though uh very expensive and i already hate these substats presumably when higher tiers come out i suppose there will be more substats so like blue one will have two uh, purple 3 and legendary 4, but yeah, we'll see how that works out, but yeah, these are the ones I got, so all monsters attack, all monsters defense, wind monster resistance, uh, then HP, and this one was defense, and then water monsters, so again, I have a lot of water monsters, and this just makes me, like, forces me to use water monsters even more, and you can remove these for free, that's cool, and you can see that they give a lot of power, like this one, 2.6k, uh, this one gives 2k, uh, this one is a bit less, I think, yeah, 1.5k, and HP is, of course, almost 3k, so yeah, a lot of power from these. Then I want to try out uh, the new raid thingy, right, the beast nest. Uh, let me see what team I have. You reckon I'm able to nuke this with Galleon? We'll see. I have zero clue what it's about. And the words are magic dust, right? Yeah, so we've seen this in Korea. Uh, hopefully people are doing it. I assume it works the same as with these. So like if after 60 seconds no one matches with you, you go solo. And I mean these gears will be pretty cool for starters. But apart from that, I don't see much use for them. They're like the same reality as White Shadow Castle, but they don't have any effects. Oh, looks like even... Oh, I cannot even... Can't even... Oh, okay. So how hard I... Oh, he gets the damage taken down. Oh, that is annoying. But yeah, it doesn't look like he does a lot of damage. I think this is a pretty easy order. Maybe not with Galleon. Uh, yeah, maybe not with Galleon. Maybe with something like Bastet. But yeah, definitely not too hard. Uh, we were duo doing it and still work. Oh, it's not even guaranteed legendary. Nice. Whoa, wait. Summon a def- oh, they do have a set effect, and they have three jump slots, that's beautiful. Aha, uh -huh. summon a defense, interesting, interesting. How much do they give? Not a lot, not a lot, okay. Nice, interesting. So a little bit extra, actually not a little bit, quite a bit of extra uh, enhancement shards in there, right? And yeah, uh, what else was there? There was, oh yeah, rainbow one recipe. Uh, I'm kind of interested to see what it is, because I do want to craft a lot of uh, four-star rainbows for units. There we go. Five-star ones. Oh, what? No, I'm not using these for rainbow ones. Oh, and you need four-star? No, no, no. This is garbage. This is worthless. What? Four-star. 
Oh, you need three stars. Nah, I mean, eventually you want to be stopping building three stars, but these are there. Like, XP potions are whatever, best lives, whatever. Rainbow ones, but if there was no rainbow ones and you, let's say, double this price, then I would craft it, but I'm not gonna waste three star rainbow ones on it. Mm, shame. Yeah, not that good, honestly. What else was that? Galagos buffs, right? Uh, apparently, you can now buy buffs, right? Or something like that. Wait, is it here? No, it's not here. Okay, let me select units and see how it works. Yeah, sure. Let's see something like that. I don't know. I'll need to depick it anyway because I reset after I am done. Well, how can you pick uh, that extra buff? I know you were given an opportunity to like, pick the buffs. These are the same, right? Yeah, so it's not here. It's not here. It should be here somewhere, right? You can like pick extra buffs, but I'm not seeing it. It's not in the shop. It's not in here. It's not in here. So if I enter, maybe... Oh, there's a good chance it might be in the first statue room, actually. So let's see. Because there was notice about being able to buy buffs, right? Oh, oh, it reselects. Oh, I see. I see. So you can... Oh, this is sick. Whoa. So this is even better than I thought, actually. Because, like, if you get... Like, it won't really matter for like the green ones, the blue ones usually, but those uh, buffs after you kill the boss, for example, those legendary ones, sometimes you get horrible ones and you can reroll these. I believe you can reroll like a total of 10 times or so. First to start with gold, like up to 100k, and then the last one will be 300 crystals, I think. So, yeah, interesting. Uh, I'm not gonna reroll these. I, have, I see defense here, so I definitely want that. Oh, that is interesting though. And you can reroll any of these, right? Or only statues. Yeah, I have to take a push. I don't really care about the max damage cap on Cleave because he usually doesn't die. So on HP for sure. Okay, let me see uh, if you are able to deselect buffs from a regular stage. Okay, so I've got some uh, handicaps selected. I will go in with, um, I need something for damage, I need something for skill damage, so I'm gonna take him, I'm gonna take him, and yes, I when I have handicaps, I do use uh, one or two units, even for the beginning stages, I feel like it's better to just push as far as I can, even with units, because uh, like, look, I selected like, my, my summoner will not do damage, and he will take some uh, decent damage due to that first one. Uh, my monsters will take some damage, and they have, like, zero defense. This one I pick whatever, but this is easy to get tokens from. So, yeah, I just push as far as I can. I go to, like, stage 3, usually finish around stage 3, maybe get into floor 4, then I reset, and I do the same thing, but this time without uh, any buffs. Okay, wait, wait, I don't want this order. I want the Gryphon to only use a skill one, right? Because he does a lot of damage on that. Yeah, as you can see, I do like negative damage. And he will just one shot it. This is our max HP skill. Like, no one is doing damage. Look. <laughs> Actually, no one is doing that. But then boom, and then boom, and then boom. Oh, I love this Gryphon. Oh, he's so fun. Oh, Cliff is taking quite a bit of damage, man. Yeah. I forgot how annoying it is to deal with the uh, handicaps early on. I'm so used to just not having them for later stages. And honestly, I'm not even gonna lie, a floor 1 with max handicaps feels like harder than floor 4 with no handicaps. Actually insane. And boom. Okay, can we reroll it? Yes we can! Love that! So I'm assuming this will work for mini bosses, for regular bosses as well. That should be pretty huge, I'm not gonna lie. This should be very, very impactful. So uh, that's a good test. Oh yeah, wait, the rate support, uh, the voice change, right? Let's see. Okay, so the first one looks about the same. Maybe more coins, right? Was it 40 or was it 20 before? 
Interesting. And now you get three supports per day, it seems, because it's uh, 18 hours. So, assumingly, if the sets in 18 hours are limited battle supports, again, love that. But it looks like if you need more materials or more tokens, you are able to get this. That's quite a lot of tokens, actually, when you think about it. 40, that's 90 tokens in total. And you can get the top weapon, like the most expensive one, for 500. So that's like, you do it for six days and you already have uh, a purchase. That's a lot. That is a lot. Wow. How about other ones? So this one only has two supports, okay, but also 60 tokens, that's quite a bit. This one only has one support, wait, what is this inconsistency? One support, how about this one? Also one support, but two items, I think those are guaranteed now, right? And uh, we didn't finish this one, so can't check there. And the rupture, I heard the support, the words are pretty much... No wait, the support was were increased, but the uh, leaves are no longer a thing, and leaves are no longer a thing in seal as well, unfortunately. Oh, Lizardman Exploration, something was changed about that, right? Let me check. Apparently you can restart it easier now. So I have this. Okay. What? It said I can restart it easier and you just remove the option to restart completely. Oh, whoa, whoa, not this, not this, not this. Recent expl- Oh, recent explorations. Well, how do I find those? Wait, what? Wait, 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 am I missing something? Wait, squad. So, would there be some kind of- Okay, and it doesn't even pop up anymore. This is, oh my God. Wow, is this an improvement? What? Oh, why did you do that? Okay, I'm assuming it's like it pre-selects this, but like, why not just leave the pop-up? Why, why would you not leave the pop-up? Uh, like, what? No one asked for this. No one wanted a pop-up gone, I hope. Okay, whatever. Exchange prices, I saw some changes, but um, yeah, I'm not <laughs> seeing any changes in the amount of material there. Let me tell you that much. But yeah, I think prices are like, yeah, well, these prices I don't understand, but yeah. Better dot, that was expensive before, yeah. I'm, we may need to have a few hours before we can see the changes. Oh, it doesn't list whether uh, like what items are changed, so uh, I can check that. Also, seems like seal shop. Ah, uh, yeah. So this was changed from two times to three times. It's pretty cool. Oh, the mapping control buttons. This one might be big. Let me see. Ah, uh, so we go with controls, right? And where is the D mapping? Oops. No. 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 Um, and where's the repapping again? Keyboard controller order. Hide. You can hide? It doesn't hide anything. <laughs> okay. Um, sure. Oh, the map controller. There we go. No, 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 wait. Was it controllers? Oh, I saw it's keyboard. No. Wait, can you, can you maybe the change key binding? Yes. Oh, okay. Move in. Cool, cool, cool. 4-5, I feel like that's okay. Oh, this is sick now. So you select this, you click something like 8. Okay, why is Google Assistant open? And, and, uh, what? And, wait, what did I do? What did I change up? Okay, F3, we changed to 8. Oh, nice. So you just have to click twice. That's cool, that's cool, that's cool, that's pretty cool. Oh, there was a new outfit. Ooh. Uh, well, it's not new, I think it's one of those like, uh, one of the outfits that were available for purchase with IRL money. Yeah, this one. So now you can craft it. Oh, it requires altered leather as well. Oh, that's a bit expensive because uh, I haven't even purchased this one yet. Like, I can't get these other letters uh, since 
Buffalo Spurs at 5 a.m. for me. <laughs> and trust me, I'm not gonna wake up at 5 a.m. for the game. So yeah. Yeah, so eventually once I have this, uh, you can get these sets and they will constantly add these. You can see that there's the night sky, a uh, Santa one was uh, a purchasable one, and it's already added here as well. So that's pretty cool. Oh, they also mentioned accuracy increasing, uh, or rather decreasing. Uh, let me see if it's listed here. Oh, look at 25%. That is big. Oh, I love this. I love this. No more Juno into water monsters nonsense. Oh, I love this. And I think it doesn't affect units like Galleon or Tiana that actually do not touch the monsters. Like, Galleon does his buff, but he doesn't actually touch units. So, assuming it was the same as in uh, the previous game, this accuracy should not affect uh, those units. So, interesting, interesting. Okay, wait, so they mentioned uh, decreasing damage from 30 to... No, the damage reduction from 30 to 40%. So let's see if uh, it is noticeable. I haven't done a manual arena in a long time. I will probably lose completely, but we'll see. Uh, let's go for that. Maybe I should have went with... No, nah, I think water one might be the best. Oh, and also Kina buffs, right? Kina got completely buffed. Uh, one of her passives will now like give damage taken down when a unit falls below, right? So, okay. well, um, let me tell you, I am getting still bullied, just like the good old days, just like the good old days. Okay, um, yeah, you still do a lot of damage. Maybe it's a bit less, but with Garden, it's still uh, quite a bit. Okay, so uh, one of the cliff abilities has a defense break, right? Oh, it's the second skill. Mm. So it looks like for PvE, they want you to use this, but uh, yeah, I feel like this is usually better because this has a damage deal bound. This is like a very unique debuff that not a lot of units have, I believe. Let me see. Oh, damage taken down. Yeah, light and dark. It's like there's two sources of it: a light and dark net five or cleave. So uh, I think cleave will be the more common option. So yeah, I think that usually will boost damage more, especially if you're using units that skill with debuffs, than having that extra defense break. But it's still an option for PvPs, I suppose. I prefer this because of the debuff, this also freezes. So yeah, for me this is just way better, in my opinion. And lastly, let's uh, do a small summoning session, yeah? We're gonna go for the Water Ninetale Fox. And I also appear, hello, yes. Let's do it. 200, probably nothing special will happen. Or I have already clickbaited uh, crap out of uh, the video. But yeah, uh, Cowgirl, love that. Oh, I'm summoning on the water one, right? Oh, wait, I hope I didn't misclick. Yeah, water one, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I swear, right? wait, we got two Cowgirls. Are we getting a third one? No, we are not. Hey, I mean, last time I did get the Light and Dark Nat 5 from a regular Legendary Scroll, right? So I'm definitely not expecting a new one right now. Though, do please give me one. Thank you. Oof, nothing. I mean, knowing my luck, I'll only uh, get a Pity Nat 4. What is it? I'll protect you now, Master. And. Oh, I have them. I have, I have multiple of them. Probably the third one here. Okay, uh, not a fox, though I will never be mad at a nap rifle. The dark gold. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't eat a lucky pickle. Uh, let me be right back. Hey, you know how it is. A lucky pickle. Now we're getting some luck. Mm-hmm. Instant F5. Like I said, 
Look at that. I think there's like a, a ping delay, you know, like you eat and you have to wait 15 seconds and it's all good. Wow, well, my nf fives. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, mm, not good. You know what? I'm gonna say this is a conspiracy theory. Never mind. I was gonna say you don't get nat fives on the least day. Uh, yeah. I think that's the other one, right? Yep. Boom! So I'll at least have Awaken 11. That's cool. Beautiful. I'm also gonna buy an, a Transmog for uh, the original Awakening form. I feel like that looks way nicer than the Awakening one. But yeah, we got it at 150. I'm gonna finish the blessing. I mean, it's 50 off. Two not fives, so average. Uh, you get one in 100, so two in 200 is pretty good. And yeah, how many are left? Uh, two more, and we are done. Nope. Last one. Oh! Oh! Hello! Oh! Well, I have her. I mean, 3 not 5, not bad. And a pity summon. Beautiful. So, we got some packages to buy, right? No, 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 no. Ah, uh, we got the water uh, girl, whatever you want to call it, right? And please tell me you can awaken, not awaken, but get that transmog. Yeah, I don't like this. Uh, while we work, I'll give you a little side profile and, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.